for most people is designed so that you can stay here right and just here to get the tone tone you want so the first interesting thing i made is dynamics uh without it i'm going to play a uh, one key just from the lowest velocities i can i can do ah wait a second something something is wrong nothing's playing yeah because there are no mics <laughs> So this is the natural velocity range of the piano. I can go really lower. It's, it's just a filter. I mean, like, it's nothing really groundbreaking or anything. It's but filtering it just, your velocity it, down so it never ex exceeds yeah. a certain value so you can play softer notes, right? Uh, but basically, it's a it's a low pass filter, filter which is based on the velocity, and oh, wonderful. it just improves it so much. It's a simple idea, but it's, it's improves it. Uh, other thing like this, this is tone. This is this is classic, but this is beautiful. Now, uh, watch this. My goodness. You see, it's just filtering the resonances. But I mean, like, the beauty of a uh, grand piano is in the resonances. And what I did was a little technical challenge. I did some, let's just call it spectral subtraction, uh, subtraction. And basically what it means is I created samples of the keys, the dry keys and the resonances themselves. And then I thought like, yeah, maybe the resonances could be processed somehow. And actually it turns out uh, most processing is kind of pointless, but, but the reverb it just works really well. And you can choose from lots of different reverbs. You can notice the enterable reverb naming there. <laughs> so it's obvious what it does. And really, really, really great thing for ambient music and stuff like that. Obviously, reverbs as well, nothing, nothing original in that. But we also have this. Eh. You know, if you are into Latin music or something. 